What's going on guys, my name is Blake and today I want to show you a really quick fast forwarding trick that can help you spice up an edit. Alright, so let's jump right into the edit. Um, right now I've got a couple of clips um, from a trip that I did with my dad and my brother to Alaska. A couple of clips of my brother skipping some rocks, walking around a little bit. It's in slow motion already. I will link in the description a video I did um, how to properly import slow motion footage so you can use it correctly in Premiere. So that'll be in the description. So what I want to do here first is let's listen to this song really quick. So I put a marker right here um, on a beat that hits. So we'll play that back. You can hear that beat hit right there. If you want to place a marker, you just make sure the clip is selected, hit M, and it'll make a little marker there. Once your playhead is on that marker, you can hit M again and delete it if you want to. Uh, so what I want to do is use that is kind of accentuate that beat with um, with some motion in here. I'm gonna play this and kind and. Tristan throws the rock right there. So I'm gonna speed up his throw like super fast to kind of snap into this beat right here. So the throw happens right here it, and I'm gonna end it about right there. I'm gonna use this razor tool right here. Uh, you can hit C on your keyboard or go up here and click this button, the razor tool. Um, so I'm gonna chop that clip right there and I'm gonna come back to this marker right here and go to go one, two, three frames. The reason, you know, it can, three frames or four frames I've found is kind of a, a little bit of a magic number for me. I really like how this looks. So um, I'm gonna select this clip. Now there's another tool, you can hit the R key or go up here and select the rate stretch tool. And uh, what this does is changes the speed of a clip based on how long you want the clip to be. So I'm gonna grab this whole clip right here, Tristan throwing the rock, and I'm gonna adjust it to three frames and have that last frame end on the beat, end on my marker right there. And now when I bring my clip back here, this this clip should, ha should help snap into this beat. Now once in a while, double check that speeding up the, the clip didn't mess with your clip. You can see that this looks like it's about um, uh, 900%. It sped this clip up. And so we're gonna go frame by frame and double check. Let's go forward. I'll see it goes back a little bit. Um, so once in a while the, the program gets a little bit confused. Um, you can take that clip, take it out of there. It just started kind of a frame too early. So now it should go pretty seamlessly there. Before it kind of jumped back a little bit, but there we fixed it. So what that looks like now, I'll play it back, is this. So it really, it, it kind of used that motion and used that fast forward effect to really snap into, I, I like to call it snapping into a clip like that. So um, the other way you can do it is to use it as a transition, so to speak. So I'm going to find another spot here somewhere. Looks like there's a spot right there in the audio. That looks pretty good. Let's see here what that sounds like. I think I did it a little bit early. It should be on this second peak here. There. Um, so now what we're gonna do is is use um, this kind of motion through here with the camera um, to speed into another clip. It should be like right there. So I'm gonna chop it there. That's kind of where I want it to end. And then again, I'm gonna go back to the marker and go one, two, three, back. Um, now I can use this rate stretch tool by hitting R if I want to. Let me undo that. But the other way to do it is just by selecting your clip and hitting Control R or Command R on a Mac and uh, changing the duration right here to three frames and hitting OK. I don't need this clip. That's just some like end stuff of him smiling or whatever. My second clip here is just Tristan walking. So I'm gonna use a chunk right here um, as the second part of what I'm gonna speed up. And I'm gonna make this maybe two frames. We, we don't need a full six, seven frames worth of this speed up in between, but I'm gonna hit Command R, change this to two frames, 
you see it makes it 2400%. Um, highlight this blank space and hit delete. And delete again and everything should, should uh, compress together there. Okay, so now let's double check that our frames aren't off at all. Oh, see it, it jumps back again. Uh, once in a while this does happen when you're speeding something up several thousand percent. So um, all you gotta do is chop off that first frame um, and it should, let's see, frame by frame line up. Yeah, so we're good there. Uh, now when I play this back, so you can see how it just kind of snaps forward into this other clip and then slows back down again. Um, this works great with slow motion footage. It works great with regular footage as well. Um, let's play this. So it's just a trick that uh, you can either use to speed through a clip really quickly, speed into another clip clip with kind of this smooth fast forward clip. Um, I use it a lot in my edits, super easy. Uh, and there's a lot of different ways you can use it. So that's about it. It's a pretty simple trick. I use it a ton in my edits. It can really take some flat footage and really make it dynamic by using this trick to edit it to the beat. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, there's a ton more and more to come. So go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see more and uh, I'll see you next time.